for Jeopardy. Now I know. <laughs> that I could come Jeopardy. in handy. Yeah. Welcome back to the program, everybody. It's jump rope time with Jackie, <laughs> is what we call it around <laughs> here. It's time look. for yoga uh, for first responders. Olivia Kavitney joining us in studio with us and our good friend, Brian O'Keefe, good hey, to see you, man. Yeah, good to be back. After all the shout outs every week, <laughs> yeah. I finally reeled you back in. Sure. And I wore my, my shirt for it, too. The firefighter shirt, perfect. Yeah. You have yours. We're matching. We're twins. That's why we're over here on this yep. side, too. But perfect. So, uh, what are we going to be doing here today? Today, we're using our straps. Any, any any strap you have, anything will do, including a belt. Okay. And we're going to do one leg extensions. We're going to start on the floor, and then we're going to build up to standing. Now, okay. the, one of the reasons that we have Brian here is because uh, part of your uh, your courses uh, teach first responders of how to do yoga because mm -hmm. it does help them every day. Yes. So with this, we do do this with the firefighters. It's not only for hamstring flexibility, but it's also for brain to body conversation. And you'll see why. Because we're going to have one leg extended and we always are focusing on the leg that's extended and that hamstring, like we're, we're just stretching that right. leg, right? Right. But we're never thinking about the other leg, right? And it kind of gets relaxed and out of alignment. So I really want us to focus on the bottom leg, the one that's not in the air, and that's going to uh, help with that brain-to-body conversation. And firefighters want that brain-to-body conversation because they need to use proprioception and fine motor skills while under stress and while wearing gear. You probably right, also Brian? need to use your fingers and hands to feel around what you're doing. Sure, right? you exactly. Also? Okay. <laughs> well, and you know, whatever's furthest from the brain is going to have impulse variability, meaning that, that you're sending the brain sending a message to the hands or the feet to do something, mm -hmm. and the hands and the feet may not be getting that message clearly or responding appropriately unless you exercise that conversation. That conversation. All right, yeah. well, let's get started and then we can continue our conversation we're having this yes. morning of why not, it's not only important for our first responders, but also Here, Brian, you get in the middle. You're the star. You're the star. Yeah, so oh, okay. so okay. Lay, right. lay down. We're going to lay down. Everyone lay down. Hey, this is great so far. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is interesting, our formation here. So let's bend the right knee, put the foot on the floor, strap up your left foot and press it up towards the ceiling. Now here's this brain to body conversation. Pull the left pinky toe down towards your body because notice the tendency for you to want to lift it up towards the ceiling, right? Okay. So pull the left side of the foot, the outside edge of the foot down. And then with that bottom leg, you can keep it where it is and press down firmly into the floor with all four corners of the bottom of the right foot or you can extend the right leg out in front of you. Flex the toes back towards the knee and now pull that pinky toe, <laughs> right pinky toe back. Okay. See how specific we're being? You are. So yeah, so in, instead of just, oh, I'm stretching my leg, I'm being very specific about my body placement. Pull the navel down into the spine so you feel the low back pressing down on the floor. And now what's the most important thing? Breathing. breathing. Yay, good, breathing. Wait a minute, we're not supposed to answer. Brian, answer. <laughs> I got it, breathing, <laughs> yeah. Now, and why is breathing important, Brian? Uh, it helps you manage stress, yes. gets your oxygen, oxygen flow throughout the body. And it's good for air consumption, right, for firefighters. Yeah, yes. I want to say that. <laughs> Regulating consumption. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Need to read the cue cards. Okay. <laughs> From here, guys, take your leg a little bit out to the left. You can put both straps into the left hand. And then it's a little bit easier if you put the right hand on the hip to keep the right hip down on the floor. And are you still pressing through the bottom of the right foot or have you forgotten about it? And now let's take the left leg and move it up and over, crossing the body. Now it's important to not lift oh. the left oh, hip. No. Now you're <laughs> twisting, and that's good. Oh. That's another pose. And that's so fine. Don't twist. But, but try to keep the pelvis on the floor and just cross the leg so it gets into the side of the leg. And This is and the, the best butt. shot. <laughs> ever on television right now. Thank you so much for this camera for Brian, is this hurting you oh, as much as uh, it's hurting me? Well, I'm silently suffering here. Yeah. Brian, with a smile. Don't your silently right, suffer. Breathe. Your right foot, your right foot, pull the toes. You are, that's so funny. We're You're so over here. So. <laughs> Olivia, do you want, his, do you want his toes pulled up here? <laughs> well, pull yeah, your base switch. toes up. He's here. vouching for me. All I right, got my right see. pinky pulled let's back. Let's switch legs, guys. Let's do the other leg Good. even okay. out. Oh. See, yoga can be fun. It is fun. It's right. fun. Okay, We're sitting so here now laying on the floor with a firefighter with <laughs> belts yeah, around our right. feet. What does that tell you, okay? When I have a firefighter on, I like to get him down on the floor. <laughs> okay, so pull, 
<laughs> pull the right pinky so down. I think we've been doing this too long now that we're getting It's these. Thursday, so yeah. we're a little slap happy. All right. So pull the right pinky toe side down. Now Good. it's hurting Good. Now more. stretch, right, yeah. stretch the left leg. Because notice how you want to relax so you get the sensation away. But we're here to find the sensation and then breathe into it. So pull the left pinky toe down. And there's space underneath your knee here, so try to press it down, press it, press it, press it. Good job. Now is our head supposed to be on the floor or yep. supposed to be up? Or? Yep, relax your head down. Okay. Strap over um, into the right hand, both straps. Press down with the hand to the left hip so that you can open up the inside of the leg, the adductor, and then cross it over for the abductor and piriformis on the outside of the leg. Notice how we want to stop flexing the foot so we don't feel the muscle stretch anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you still, so you want to flex no, my the right. pinky toe side. Okay, bring it back to center. All right, we're gonna do this standing, but before we do, come back up so you're seated. When we do this standing, now we're gonna need to use our core while we stretch the leg. So turn forward. Let's do a core exercise. Let's do boat pose. Lift the chest, lift the, what are these, shin bones up. Take the arms next to the shin bones and pull the abs in. Now can you engage your core and still expand the ribs and chest at the same time as you're breathing? So you have that ease, that neutralization in the breath, but the stabilization in the body. And now let's add the strap. So take the right foot down, strap up the left. <laughs> and this is what it's gonna feel like to stand up. So notice I'm pulling back a little bit on the strap, lifting my chest towards my toes. And this is what it's gonna feel like. Good, and you can cross over a little bit too, side to side. Good, let's do the other leg. So notice that stretching doesn't mean you have loose muscles. In fact, you want to activate in order to find the mobility in the back of the leg. Shoulders down, Lou. There it is, good. Flex the feet. All right, let's let it go. Let's try this standing now. So, up we go. Same thing we did laying down, but remember we have to have that core control and... This is a heck of a workout breathing. for the young lady. <laughs> this is the easy thing. I had something harder to do today, but... <laughs> okay, so strap Thank up you your well. left. Okay. Left, okay. And let's press the left foot forward. You want to hold uh, me up? I was going to say, we'll, we'll take turns here. Okay, I'll, I, I'll spot you. <laughs> now use your core, Brian. Lift your core up. Yeah. I, so instead I'm of leaning back, <laughs> pull the core in, lift the chest up, and now breathe. And just like we did on the floor, guys. Oh, uh, we're going to end up ready? on the floor. What are you talking about? <laughs> take your right hand to your hip. Take both stretch, straps in the left hand. Move your leg over to the left. Good. Back to center. The strap does help me from falling over a little bit. Switch to the right hand, left hand to hip, cross it over the body. This is why it's important, Jackie, that we didn't twist, because watch when I when I twist, if I did that on the floor, whoop, that's what you're gonna that's do. That's what would happen, right? That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so, so then what does that mean? You gotta pull your left hip back. Okay. So when you lose your balance, don't just go with it and think, oh, I have bad balance. Look at what's happening in the mechanics of the body and then fix it. Good, are you breathing? Not really. Okay, no. see, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that breathing is giving you that focus and neutralization while you're doing something that's challenging. Yeah. That's the point of yoga, not stretching the hamstring, Okay. right? Which that's is perfect for our first responders, and, and we're so appreciative of Brian kind of showing us off, especially in, uh, in partial gear. uniform here. But right. um, why is it so important for us at home to be able to have this communication and breathing aspect to our lives? Well, it's the same thing. We're always having to do that. Life is stressful, yet we still have to communicate clearly. We still have to be kind. We still have to get our job done Correct. with the stresses of life. You can't live life without stress coming into you. So yoga isn't about minimizing your stress because I can't keep the stress from your life but you can process it in a way that you can still be calm and coherent while under stress. That's what yoga is about. There you go. Good Why explanation. Does my right leg hurt more than my left. <laughs> I know, we got to even it. Well, we gotta even ourselves out. Everyone's <laughs> different. All right, Olivia, uh, remind everybody about not only the great work you do with the Yoga for First Responders, but how people can get involved here uh, locally as well as that they want to learn more. So to get involved locally, you, you can go. come <laughs> to our brewery oh, yoga geez. events at Peace Tree Brewery. Um, the next one is in August with Jennifer Hardcastle. She'll be teaching that one. 
at will donations all going to yoga for first responders. So guys like these can get like this can get uh, <laughs> tortured by me. <laughs> and Brian, how much does this really help? Because you've been doing this for a while now with Olivia. How much has this changed your mindset when you're in a situation? Well, especially at my age, you know, I used to think about just lifting weights, but really that's not the focus. Here, you know, you get that mind-body connection. When you're first crawling inside, whether it's claustrophobia, the heat, the stress, the, the nerves, get, being able to just get that connection and reestablish, you know, your focus with your body gives you more confidence in your ability to pay attention to the outside factors instead of just, I'm breathing heavy and I'm scared and I'm crawling around. So it's very beneficial. Now, when you get into that situation, I'm gonna go back to the first time you got into that situation and you were able to breathe and just relax and, and calm yourself down. Did you think about the training you went through ahead of time with Olivia? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it brings it to uh, the total body focus. For me, it was, uh, it used to be, I'd just get in there and hear my heavy breathing and just like, know that I, I, I wasn't able to manage it, but now I'm able to, to focus what a and great get some breathing. And it'll become, become subconscious too. So, cause I, I know when you're under that stress and you're in an emergency situation, you're not gonna be like, oh wait, yoga, it's yoga time, my yoga breathing. But if you train and practice enough, it'll be habitual. Automatic. So, yeah, it'll be, yep, automatic. So we encourage you to do more with yoga, uh, either with Olivia and her wonderful organization with Yoga for First Responders. You can always check us out on Thursdays. Uh, if you've missed any of our wonderful segments, check out weareiowa.com. And if people want to learn more about Yoga for First Responders, where should they go? Yogaforfirstresponders.org or the Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. We're on all the social. Just look us up. And there's videos, um, videos online on YouTube. We're on YouTube as well. And then, of course, um, these videos every week. Wonderful. Man. Muscles are feeling warm, getting the <laughs> communication going and the breathing going as well. So we appreciate you joining us once again, Olivia. Of course, Brian, always great to see you. He's not going anywhere because he's going to continue to talk about the great work the firefighters are doing for those who are trying to beat the heat this summer. Learn more about that as we come back to CWI. We're live. You're watching TCWI Channel 23.